Hey guys, today we're going to start by uh, creating a, a variable pitch spring. This is going to be a small print spring about 0.5 diameter uh, across here. Uh, the length is about 17.5 millimeters long. And variable pitch means that it has the coil, dis the distance between the coils changes as it goes across here. Okay. And um, all right, so let's get started. To start off with, click on your top view and click sketch. And always start a helix, which is going to be what's going to be generated uh, for the coil um, with a circle. Okay, so top view sketch, and then the diameter of the circle is going to be the diameter of the spring eventually, but that's the also the diameter of the helix. All right, so X my sketch, and we have that. Next is make sure it's selected, and then um, in features, you can go to curves and helix and spiral. That begins the sequence of setting up this helix. Uh, to work with. Okay, and so we're just going to watch as we develop, up, develop this now. Um, typically when you start off here in a constant pitch, that means if you create a spring um, with a pitch of, let's say a pitch of 2, okay, and revolutions of 10, what that means is that you have, um, you have, we're going to call these coils, okay, you have 10 coils, 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the pitch is the distance between these coils, okay? Or the distance between the peaks. So that's why you have a pitch of 2. And um, it, it tries to maintain it. It starts kind of, actually starts down here. The blue is, blue is the his original sketch. We're not looking at that. We're just looking at the yellow um, helix here, okay? And that's accurate. To make a variable pitch, we're going to click on a variable pitch here. And you have to input the distances or the pitch between the coils, okay? And also tell it which revolution um, are you kind of changing that pitch, all right? So to, to begin with, the first pitch is a, can be a 0.5 because you're going to have a 0.5 wire size or diameter of the wire we're going to use to make the spring, okay? And you want to start off with a, with a distance, um, a 0.5 like for these first coils, okay? And we're going to start at revolution or, you know, right at the beginning is revolution zero, okay? Next is we're going to say it's going to be a 0.5 pitch um, up to revolution number three, okay? And what that means is that the beginning here, now you have, you have one, two, three coils, and we're trying to maintain a 0.5 distance between here or 0.5 pitch between these three coils up to this point, up to revolution number three, or coil three, okay? And you have to start kind of, to maintain this kind of a distance here, you have to start with the distance at zero, all right? And start with the pitch of 0.5 at zero. Next is um, on pitch, on, we're gonna start now to expand this out. We wanna close here, we're gonna expand it out now. Next is a pitch of two um, at coil four, okay? And what that means is I'm gonna turn this around here so you kind of see this at the top. All right. Um, what that means is that there it is. Um, you have you have coil one, one, two, three, and then four. Okay. At coil four, we're beginning to spread out here. Um, all right. To to kind of get to a, a two millimeter pitch between between the rest of the coils here until we start to slow down over here or get smaller at the end. All right. Next is going to say we're going to say at the very midpoint of this. Um, spring, let's say at coil or, or um, revolution number seven, you want it to be also at two right here, okay? And if you, to maintain the kind of the, this balance here, you do want to, you want to tell it that it has a, a pitch, maintaining a pitch at the middle, okay? Otherwise it kind of gets off a little bit, so you have to do that, all right? Um, next is we're going to also, up until coil number, like it goes four plus three is seven, seven plus three is ten, at coil number 10, all right, we want to kind of still be maintaining a pitch of 2, all right, so there it is. So we're still maintaining a pitch of 2 up to here to coil number 10. Now we're going to then we're gonna come back and tighten it up a little bit at the end here, like this side, okay? So we're going to change the pitch to 0.5 at coil number 11 and push enter, okay? So over here, we're starting to slow it down some um, right here. It's kind of like over here where we say at coil number 11, we're, we want to bring it back down to 0.5 quickly. So we want that's where coil 11 is here. 
And to finalize this, we want to have three coils that are 0.5 at the very end. So we're going to say 0.5 um, up into three more coils would be up to coil number 14 and push enter and that creates these here. All right, so let's, let's go back and review this a little bit um, just for on the same page as what's happening and we'll kind of bring these over so you can see these in position now. And we'll go back and just quickly kind of review this a little bit of what's, what's happened here. Okay, so we start off with a pitch of 0.5. That means that we, we're telling the, this, this, quote, this helix, I want it to be a 0.5 between here and here, so we have to start at 0.5. If you said pitch of zero at on revolution zero, it would mean that this would be very tight and wouldn't be able to make wouldn't be able to create it. Okay, wouldn't be able to create the wire thickness we need. So start with point five um, at revolution or coil number three. It's still point five that maintains this distance. Now we're going to jump up to revolution. We're going to get up to two millimeters pitch to here on coil four. And notice that two point seven five height. Minus 1.5 is not 2. It has to kind of slowly get up to that. But if you look at 8.75 meter, millimeters, minus 2.75 is 6. So this is 2, 2, and 2 between these coils. So you have got to the 2 distance in here. Same thing over to here. And that goes begins to slow down. And this will finally get back to a 0.5 millimeter pitch between these three up to coil 14 and revolution 14. All right? That's basically it, um, kind of laying it out. All right, I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, do a swept off space and a circular profile. You can see the helix here, and um, I'm going to give it a, we set a wire thickness or wire diameter of 0.5. Let's see if this works. All right, so these sometimes this is not always working, and, it's, and it gets a little tight sometimes, so I'm going to go back, go back to a point. 4.9 just because it doesn't want to generate that, so that's going to make that work. It'll be fine for now. Okay, so let me um, check mark this. So that creates that coil with a variable uh, pitch. I'm going to right click on the helix here and, and hide that because that's what this blue line is in here. All right, I'm going to hide that. So there's my coil. Lastly, um, if this goes up against a flat surface, you're going to have a kind of a, a, a bump here. It's going to run into that. So we need to cut these off at the ends. Okay, so here's a, what we're going to do. We're going to use a surface tool, surfacing tool called Cut with Surface. And if you don't have this tab, um, you can right click on any of these and go to Toolbars and choose Surface um, right there, Surfaces. That turns on the tab I have right there if you don't have it and if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to click on the top, top plane first. The top plane is like going right through um, that face right there, if you can't see, it's kind of hard to see. And let's go to the front view here. So this goes right through there. So if I go cut with surface after selecting that, um, the arrow is pointing down. It means everything up below that surface or that plane will be cut off, just like that. Okay, so it slices it off. To create a plane up here, I need to create a new plane. I'm going to click on the top plane again. And Features, Reference Geometry Plane. And if I set it to 17.5, which is what the height was, if you look at the helix again, the height, the last height was 17.5. That works. And again, we'll go to a front view here, see that it is right through there. Um, that plane is selected. We'll go to surfaces, countless surface. Uh, the arrow's pointing down. We want to reverse that so we don't lose our entire um, coil. And it cuts that off like that. Okay, and I'm going to right click and hide this plane. Okay, control seven. Right, so there it is. There's our um, our variable pitch spring, and with the ends cut off, and looks good. Okay, hopefully that helps. Have a good day. Bye.